enjoying your book. I'm there you go. You're enjoying the book. Oh, absolutely. I forgot almost, you just got it. Wow. I'm man. almost done with it. It's great, man. Oh. If I'd had, if I'd had it two years ago, life had been different. <laughs> <laughs> You're a sweetheart. Listening to you. I love it. It's great stuff. Thanks. I appreciate you saying that. That's awesome. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, I know we were a couple of minutes early, but I am recording so that if as people are coming in, uh, if they miss something, they can refer back to the recording. Had a lot of great questions that was compelled and provoked from Monday night's training. So I want to get in that first. First question is, and this comes from a Jeff Sadler down in Perry, Florida, which I have some friends down in Perry uh, that pastor a church. So that's uh, I know that area very familiar, but he asked this question during the training last night, Terry mentioned all new members can either host with his hosting company or choose another hosting company. If another company is chosen, what were the restrictions? Uh, Did he say that the elemental pro and other items would not be included at that point? Yes. So if you want to host a, uh, your own site, that is totally, uh, as a member. Now this is coming from the context of uh, a member here. If you want to host your own website, maybe you're familiar with a different type of uh, website than WordPress, uh, then you, you definitely can do that. Or if you want to have a WordPress site and host it somewhere else, you definitely can do that. The problem is if you want some of the plugins we offer to our members, uh, it has to be on our server because that's how we populate in your back office. It's not that we have access to your site. But because we have access to the server, we can say this site name here, put this plug in on there so they can have it and you can have the, uh, the, 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 uh, I'm getting some cross chatter somewhere, guys. If everybody, if you're not talking, if you don't mind, just meet everybody, mute your mics. And then if you've got something to say, I'm not going to mute or unmute, just, uh, to mute them yourself and then unmute them. If you need to say something that way, we don't get the cross chatter here, but, um, uh, uh, if you want, then, then Lori, I'm asking, answering uh, Jeff Sadler's question, and that was about hosting on a different <laughs> server other than the TW3 server. Totally can do that, except if you want the plugins, we've got to have access and have it on our server so it works. So that's the only caveat there. Okay. Now you can still have the uh, application here, the new TW3 app, as long as it's a WordPress site. So if you've got a WordPress site and it's hosted somewhere else, that's fine. We can get you the lead connect, a plugin that basically syncs our app with WordPress. So you totally can use uh, our application to build your funnels, to build your forms, to use all the automation and all of the things that the app will do. You totally can do that and it don't have to be on our server. However, if you want WP forms, if you want Elementor Pro, if you want all those other things, it has to be on our, our our server because we have access to be able to drop those plugins uh, for you. So that's the caveat there. Number two, since I'm an elite member and can sell the program in packages or individually, what's the commission residuals for each product sold in the process for signing up members for our uh he was saying sites, but uh, j- the deal is this, uh, you can, as an elite member, you have resale rights, just like you always have to all of the membership packages. However, we have taken, taken some of these marketing components now that we have this app and we're breaking it out to where elite members can sell one individual component. Okay. Uh, for example, if you want to sell just the funnel max, you can sell that. Or if you want to sell just the lead marketing, or if you want to sell just the auto scheduler, like for instance, you're dealing with a client that's in insurance or real estate and they need an auto booking system. And when I say auto booking, I'm not saying like automobiles, I'm talking about automatically scheduling, automatically booking. If you're wanting to sell one of these components, you can, and your commission is 50%. So if it's a $30 a month uh, product, then you're, you're getting $15 a month off of that. Okay. If it's a, uh, for instance, a $500 a month product, then you're getting $250 a month off of that. So these individual components, 
can be sold. Now, the processes and how to do that, of course, we covered a lot of that at the uh, conference. That's one of the benefits of coming to the conference. Uh, but we are going to be developing some training on how to sell some of these enterprise systems. But that's coming. It's not been developed yet because we're still in a lot of the new stages of this. Now, one thing that's not commissionable, I should say, in this package is this web builder uh, because we're basically wholesaling this for what it cost us just to to as a service. It's not a money maker. It's a service. OK, uh, but just a caveat there. Now, the whole point of all of this is we bundle it together in our funnels. And this is what I've said. And I know Gary's repeated it and other people I've heard repeat this same thing that I've been saying for 13 years. And it's still true today. There's nothing that TW3 sells that you can't go out and independently buy yourself. Now you can't buy these tools because these are ours, but you can buy similar tools. For instance, you can go out and buy click funnels instead of funnel max independently for about the same price. I would argue ours does better and I like it because it systematically and vertically integrates with all of these other tools. However, it can be purchased out separately. WordPress can be purchased if not you know, given the freebie site over on the .org site. The magic happens with all of this stuff when it's bundled together and it's shown how to use it in a systematic way that will generate a lead for your specific industry or create a product for you to supplement what you're already selling or creating an agency to, to develop residual, residual incomes. And Chris Miller does a great job of, of uh, uh, sort of communicating and articulating this, that the magic at TW3 is the training and, and the how-to's. So, yes, all we're doing is, and I was talking to Lori today, and I talked to Gary uh, Monday night, and, and, and this is the point. You're going to have clients out there that are in the trades, that they are in, uh, for instance, a lawn care guy. Let's talk about the lawn care guy, because I like uh, talking about him, because it illustrates what the value. And by, by the way, I sold one of these today to my hairstylist and, and barber, but, uh, and, and I could use him. He's not going to want to become a member at TW3. He doesn't want to start a business. He's got a business. He doesn't want to get involved because he's not of the, of the, of the profession like insurance sales and real estate sales and, and that kind of thing. So he's not, his, his career path is not there. That's not what he's about. All he wants is a functional tool to do just this, Okay. Well, rather than losing that business and just referring him out to, well, you need a funnel basically to set up to capture your leads on social media, or you need an auto scheduler so you can have people auto, you know, so and rather than just sending them over to Calendly or Acuity, now as a member at TW3, you have an individual commissionable component to sell them, uh, to help them. So that's how that works and, and the logic behind that. Now, let me get over here real quick, guys, because uh, I'm missing, I'm missing, I'm missing, I'm missing something. Hold on a second. Also, what about the chat widget? Can they buy that individually on a different website, not on WordPress, Terry? Now, it has to be on WordPress. Okay. Yeah, right. It has to be on WordPress because it has to, that functions with the, um, with the that Lead Connect app that plugin that connects our application to their website. And that is a, that is a WordPress plugin. So yeah, that has to, to be on there. Okay. And so let's moving on third question. Then I've got some questions coming in the chat. I see up there. I haven't read them yet, but I'm seeing my chat populated here. Uh, if a member chose another hosting company for their website blog, that the setup process for the lead connector is to connect back to their sites. Yes. So what think of um, think of these plugins, for example, as MailChimp or Aweber or GetResponse or Acuity. It's these third parties out there that are the engine behind the website. So think about how we've used a lot of these third parties in the past, for example. We've used MailChimp to be our autoresponder. We used Call Loop to be maybe a, uh, a texting system. We've used uh, WP Forms, or, or we've used these different components to sort of be the engine behind the website that's making the, the trains run on time. Well, now TW3 has become that engine in the background. Okay. 
So you got to think of, we, we have just replaced literally over $2,500. I counted it up today, over $2,500 of individual components that you would need that you would pay per month uh, in basically our sales rep and trainer package we've replaced with a $97, which will be a $150 a month admin and a one-time setup fee just to get to membership. And on top of that, you get all the strategies and stuff. So the value proposition is huge, but uh, that's, that's what we've become. So that's why, because of that, we said, Hey, let's reposition this because no longer do we have to be the website and everything as well. Okay. We're going to still offer that the website that's out there is not going away. However, we're going to offer a service for those who want to port their existing site that's on the TW3 network over to an individual site. We're going to be able to do that. There are some huge advantages to doing that. I will tell you, number one, all you members on here tonight, think about this. I've had one of the, the, the number one questions we get in ticket support is, hey, I like this plugin over here. I would like to use it. And what's the answer? No. <laughs> we always say no. The reason being is because we have to protect the network so that uh, your plugin or your, your, your thing that you want to use doesn't cause conflict with another plugin and, and crash the system. So it's a, we have a closed ecosystem. We don't allow third-party plugins. You can only use what we put in there. And to the chagrin and the frustration of a lot of people, I get it, but that's how we've been able to pl- uh, protect the network. Now, if you go independent, you go through our, you get a hosting with our server, we'll populate your site with our plugins, existing plugins that we give you with the membership. But then you can go out and get other plugins that you want as well. To, to fill out, maybe there's a solution out there you're just used to, you love, and you want to use that. You can. Secondly, because we're going to be able to do the domain uh, hosting uh, and the web hosting and everything else, you can have your own branded email that's congruent with your website. So if you're Gary Green, you can be GaryGreen1.com, and then all of his emails are Gary at GaryGreen1.com. And then maybe he's got some affiliates he wants to set up. And so maybe he's got an affiliate over here named Joe. Well, he can set up Joe at GaryGreen1.com. So now that just really helps strengthen his own individual brand. So that's another thing that you have. I'm going to have to mute. we got some dogs barking in the background. So I'm just going to mute everybody and then unmute if uh, you need to talk. I'm one of those ADD guys. Uh, so I apologize if, uh, if, if it's distracting to you, but I'm, it's the audio in me. The, the, the sound guy at church always gets frustrated with me because I'm, I'm the guy complaining about the monitor mix. <laughs> Get that 2K ring out of my monitor. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so that's the question number three. Question number four, and then we're moving on. It's last question. And this is all uh, the four questions that Jeff Sadler asked and sent in. So I wanted to hit him up front, front and this has been recorded in case he's not on. Uh, he can listen to this later or Lori can send it to him. Is there a uh, migration plan for existing members' website blocks to move in the future if they're on hosting? Uh, Terry's, ho- it appears that we are moving away from. Well, we're not. We're not shutting it down. He's just asking, "Hey, I'm putting all this work on my existing site, and I'm scared I'm gonna lose all that work if we're going." We're not shutting the existing sites down. We're just offering this as well. Uh, and we're going to, for all new members, once we go live, we're not going to offer the old system anymore. Uh, they're going to have to get their, a new site. Uh, and so we're telling existing members, if you're on there, you like using it, it'll be there as long as you want it. Okay. We're not going to shut it down on you and we're, you're not going to lose anything. However, uh, we're encouraging you to move over just because we think it would be in your best interest, but that's totally, totally up to you in what you want to do. And if you want to migrate, we will make it literally as affordable as possible. Is someone asking a question? I heard some chatter, so I just want to make sure. Uh, okay, so that's that question there. Now, so when somebody in, so when somebody enrolls, we're gonna they're gonna have a choice, is what you're saying. No, when, when, some, when someone, uh, once we go That's live, uh, Gary, uh, Gary, we will, we will uh, um, I am getting, uh, hold on one second. I can't concentrate because of the reverb. Uh, once we go live in November, we're looking at November 1st to go uh, out of beta into full live. Uh, all people from then on out, they'll be sent. Basically, once they log in, here's what's going to happen. They're going to uh, be sent the 
the TW3 app login, which is right here, right? And then just let me go to mine so everybody can see it. And so they will log in. And when they see this, they're going to have instructions. And the first instructions is set up your website. And they'll click right here and they'll set up their website. So, okay. so that's, that's what the new onboarding process will be. Uh, so, they'll have to, so there'll be a cost to set up the domain name and the hosting. It's six bucks a month. It's $72 uh, up front, you know, is what it's going to be. Uh, what we will start doing also just on the uh, finance packages, that will be bundled in the finance as part of the invoice. Okay. You see what I'm saying? That way there's no surprises, anything like that. But it is in the way we're getting that wholesale, that $6 represents the the hosting and also the domain name and unlimited emails and all that. We're getting it pretty cheap, but you pay for it a year in advance. So six times 12, which is 72 bucks. So they so have seven, to use that or they can buy it themselves like if they have a go. Or yet. they can go off and get whatever they want anywhere else they want. And they okay. all have the app. We just can't put the uh, WP forms and Elementor in there. That makes sense. Gotcha. So if they do it on our side, then we can integrate the WP Forms, Elementor, and, and everything in, else. And any other WordPress plugins I have, they will have because I what it is, I, it's not that I have access to their website, but I have access to their control panel in the in the C panel where the folders are, right, and I can right. go in there and I can drop that plugin in for them, and they've got right. it. I got you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's how that works. Good, good. So yeah, that and that's so they all. Need to, so they need to get the hosting, you know, on our side. So. They need to get it, but we're not requiring it. But and the reason right. we're not is because, for example, you as an elite member, you might be out there and you're working with a realtor, and that real estate agent has got a lot of of uh, content and SEO work and a lot of stuff done already on an existing WordPress site. And they want to use our app and they want to become a member. They want all that. Or maybe they don't even want to be a member. They just want the app. And you're, you're, you've got a bundled package together for that. But whatever. This way, they can still get the assets to the TW3 app. And they can still even get some of the training. It's just those individual plugins uh, we can't do unless they move. But I don't think that's going to be an issue if you're dealing with a realtor or someone that's already in an existing business. and They've got assets that they're already working with. Gotcha. Gotcha. Good stuff. So Tom says, hi, all I'm going to be in the middle of a drive. So may respond if called on, but I, I will be listening in. Well, good to have you on Tom. Michael Stevens says, yes, but the pro version of the click funnels 297. That is true. And the pro version of this thing runs circles around the pro version of it. That's what I'm saying. It, once you see the value proposition of what all this, this funnel thing here, this is their top top of the line it, it, it and their top of the line doesn't integrate like ours does and i'm not trying to beat up on anybody it's a great product and god knows he's made millions of dollars off of that one product selling so good for him but if you look spec by spec on what this does versus the other i mean this is night and day what he'll do in the way it integrates with i mean once someone enters that funnel they're populated with your crm your phone system your chat bot your auto schedule it's everywhere so it's seamlessly integrated so you don't have to go out and go to zapier and use this bridging device to bridge it from this uh, component to this component you don't have to deal with all that so that's why it's just so powerful so the value proposition for you members it is there and so and, I love it. and then also real quick terry so i have some clients that have been asking just recently you know about you know you know using our platform for you know business outside of our platform to generate mm -hmm. Can you speak a little bit more just real briefly about, you know, this new app specific? Oh, absolutely. Know that business. Yeah, absolutely. Let me tell you some conversations we're having right now uh, with companies that have nothing to do with TW3. I mean, because at the end of the day, you got to know the genesis of this business was me in an insurance business trying to figure out how to generate leads for my insurance business. I did that. I became fairly successful. And so I got to go to the Tony Robbins place down in Fiji. Uh, give a talk on how to generate leads online that put me in front of a lot of people coming out of the woodworks and hey can you teach us how to generate leads with these tools and that's the genesis of tw3 teaching people how to generate leads with these various components and stuff 
And what happened was for the first few years, this wasn't a product you could resell. This was just a product you used for your insurance business. And then some realtors came around and said, hey, can we use your tools to generate real estate? And we said, yeah. And so we had this lead generation marketing platform and tool to use. And about three years into it, what happened was there was a gentleman by the name of Jim Thomas down in Atlanta, Georgia, and said, hey, Terry, I would rather sell your system to my agents and just get a little commission off of it rather than have my system and have to be the bottleneck for all of my agents lead generation. I want them to be able to generate their own leads. I'm not in the lead generation business and I'd like to resell it. So when we turn this into a product for brokers like him to resell to hit their agents, well, the, the roof blew off because then it became a business opportunity. So that's why sometimes people conflate this as just a business opportunity. No, it's Genesis is a lead generation marketing tool that turned into because it has resale rights. You can do that. We are in conversations right now with some major hospitals uh, uh, to use this because of the CRM. This is HIPAA right. compliant. It's GDPR compliant. Uh, it, it meets all the compliance levels to, to be able to facilitate dental office, chiropractor offices, legal uh, offices, you know, all of these places that have data sensitive areas, it has all of those certifications and credentialing to be uh, able to be used in those spaces. And I've got a good friend of mine. That's what he does is he's he works with hospitals and, and he's taking this and they've already said this is better than what we are using right now. And this is going to become one of their components. I've got another friend of mine that uh, works with a lot of chamber of commerce uh, chamber of commerce is to do their printing and stuff like that. He's taking this and setting up a situation where people uh, that are a member of this particular local chamber of commerce, that they can get this app to use, to promote, to market, to manage their business. And so uh, retail restaurant, uh, in, any business that needs uh, leads, which can you name me a business that don't need leads? <laughs> can you name me an organization, hey, school, I, churches? I think yeah. just about everyone does. I mean, Hey, that's the lifeblood of the business. Definitely. Yeah, it's the lifeblood. I mean, you can't, you can't do business without it. So that, that's just where we've been. We've been in that space, but what this does with these components, it, it allows us to operate in those spaces without ever having a conversation with one of our clients about even talking about membership and business opportunity and things of that nature, because all they're wanting is a component. All they want is a product to manage their existing business or to promote their existing business or, or to generate leads for their. So that's what this does. Uh, and, and then also I had another, another quick question too. So I had another client uh, mentioned, Hey, is the uh, Myers Briggs, you know, resale rights still going to be available on all the packages? You know, because the terms and conditions have been updated, the FAQs. So yes. he, he had a question about that, you know, earlier today. So. Probably going to put that only in the elite level simply because uh, for, the, for that to take place, uh, that's a higher end coaching. Uh, and we have all of that training uh, up in that level. And so that's going to be put back into the elite level. But yeah. And that um, makes sense too, because the elite is geared more towards a business individual that's using this platform for any kind of business outside of, of TW3, right? Correct. And, and when you get to that level, you're dealing with people on personal development and interpersonal skills. And I mean, I've got clients that go out and work with Chick-fil-A uh, operators, for instance. And so they're working with Chick-fil-A operators. And of course, this handles some of their business marketing needs, but maybe they need some team development coaching and training at that particular facility. And that's how they use our Myers-Briggs certification to be able to bring that. Well, when you're at that level talking to that client base and, and in those spaces, uh, you're at the elite level at that point. And also in, in business too. So you're Absolutely. really taking your business to the next level. You're not, I mean, it's a, yeah, I agree. It's a higher level tool just to use in business relationships and also to help you understand the type of clients uh, that you're also engaging with for your business, you know, too. So. Exactly. Exactly. 
uh says here uh i tried to get sound by dialing in but it's not accepting dialing access hmm well i am recording this uh sharon maroney whoever the coach trainer is for sharon uh i don't know if that's yours gary or bobby's i i can't remember i don't know off the top of my head so but uh if bobby or or, or whoever uh is managing that account make sure uh, i can't remember uh, but uh, it, this is being recorded because uh, the last uh, Mondays uh, we had technical difficulties. OK, so and Charles says, that's funny. Your barber mine went broke because I'm bald. Well, mine's going to go broke if it depends on mine, because this is you can see <laughs> all I've got is the side. And uh, yep, Jeff answered your questions up front. And uh, Christian is a business lead I am working on. Uh, OK, and the schedule is also huge in the health. Yes, absolutely. Uh, yeah, Valerie, good to have you on uh, tonight. Good to see you. Good to be back after two COVID scares back to back. That's oh, why it makes a conference for those. Well, who... we miss you. We <laughs> should have <laughs> missed you. Guys. We missed you down there. Well, let's get into it. So I've a- answered questions, Gary or, or, or Lori or Valerie or whoever, uh, Larry. Uh, just if, if I miss a question that comes through, uh, stop me. Okay. So let's just uh, go from the top. Uh, I was on the phone with uh, Miss Spelling Bee a little bit today and, and working through some things uh, with hers, but I, I, I'm going to uh, under, uh, assume that everyone, I'm just going to assume that, uh, boy, this is going to time out on me again. I don't know what is going on. Okay. If it times out, Use the same link. We'll come right back, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, oh, Pete. Uh, but right over here, you got uh, your app and it starts from, let's just go to the top. Uh, when you first get into it, you're going to see this launch pad. That's the first thing you're going to see. And you're going to want to get your uh, mobile app installed. So you click there. You're going to get your Google My Business. If you're not on, if you've not Googled your business, do that because it's a great way to just improve your SEO. So it's got that. You're going to link all of your social media accounts. Now, this is very important. In new elites, you're going to see a very cool training come out in the next few weeks. I just got through, I'm about 70% through building this funnel where I'm advertising specifically on Facebook and I'm targeting specific types of clients that would find value in this. Uh, immensely. And it's literally just a, it's a five to 10 minute uh, funnel that they go through. And so far, uh, just the little split testing I'm doing is working real well. But the beautiful thing about connecting your social media with this is it syncs your uh, instant messenger or what does Facebook call it? Private messages or, or, or chat, whatever that uh, uh, messenger. Right, right. Their messenger app. It syncs that. It syncs if you create a form on Facebook. If you create a form on Facebook, uh, like I'm running an ad and it says fill out the form below. And all I'm asking is their name, number, and email address. And I'm asking for the numbers because I tell them I'm going to text them something. Well, when they do that, it populates my CRM right here. So it literally turns Facebook into WP forms for me. <laughs> okay. So for you guys, uh, that's what it does. So it's very, very cool in that regards. Uh, of course, uh, Stripe, if you want to take payments, and then it's got some other things that you can add. I think the things in this component I don't use, so I didn't add it. So that's where you're going to start. You're just going to sync some of your assets up there. Then you got your dashboard right here, and this is where your pipeline, and, and I haven't fulfilled filled everything out yet, but this is what this is real cool. This is the sales tracker here. So if you know a lead, if you're talking to them about an ELT or a PRT or an SRT product, then based on where they're at in the pipeline, this is going to show you, hey, I've got some open, I've got five, five conversations open that are worth X amount of dollars. And so it's just going to sort of give you an idea of the value that's in your pipeline. Uh, so, you know, you're not uh, just taking your leads for granted, which we all as salespeople do sometimes. So that's really cool. It's going to keep up with uh, everything you're doing with your SMS and your phones and all of that. It's going to uh, keep up like right here. I've already said I've had 167 uh, inter- interactions uh, in the last 30 days just through the Google My Business. Okay. It's going to keep up with, uh, you know, your page views and social views and stuff like that. Once you sync all this, it's like, this is the central nervous system of every marketing asset you have. And what is your marketing assets? Your social media accounts, your Google accounts, 
your website itself, your blog, all of that is being ran back here. This is like the, this is the engine behind everything that's going on. And then this is where, uh, you know, Gary's really excited about this. Chris is really excited about this. And I'm excited about it because this chat bot is bad to the bone because it puts it on your site. And like, here's all the various chats we've had just in the last few hours, you know, of clients that's wanting to, to get started or wanting to talk. When Reagan has a conversation or I have a conversation with someone, it's recorded right back here in in their profile. So if I want to go back sometime and listen to a conversation that I had, this is part of the telemation software that we have here, which it basically turns this system into literally a call center software. So I can set up my own home-based call center. So for you guys out there, it says, I don't really dig all of this technical stuff. I don't, I'm overwhelmed by it. It's intimidating. We can show you how you can set up free ads, free ads with the telephone number you're given with this system right here that says, call me or text me. And this system, because it'll be pot, your funnels will be populated if you're in a TW3 business. You can just write on, okay, when I get off the phone with you, Gary here, I'm going to send you a text. As soon as I get off the text, I hit one button. It sends an automatic text. When he clicks on that, it sends him to this video. When he clicks on that, it sends him to this confirmation. When he sends on this, I mean, it's, it's, it's doing everything automatically for you. Okay. So that's, that's the cool thing about that conversation piece. And as you can see, this, this chat bot is connected to what? My CRM. So everything is vertically integrated. Now, the question is, well, what if someone just bought the CRM, for example? Well, the chat bot, well, you wouldn't see the chat bot there. You wouldn't see the marketing bot. You wouldn't see the reporting. You wouldn't see the acuity, Calendly, or what I'm calling your auto scheduler uh, uh, plug-in right there. All you would see is this right here. See, we're taking all of these components that are vertically integrated that connect with everything connects with everything. And we just slice it and dice it because some people, this is all they need. So that's the power of this, this stuff. And the beautiful thing is it, when, when someone fills something out, let's just pick on this person here. I hope they're not on today or, or frustrated. At, but I can see right here where they're at, what, what came in. Okay. They came through the initial interview process, that funnel here. Well, let me look into additional information. Now, look at this, guys. Look how cool this is. Every form they filled out thus far is populated back here. You know, you used to you'd have that form emailed to you. As a, and I'm going to stop right here and just see if I can do something. I want to see if this will allow me to do something real quick. Because I tried this yesterday and it didn't work. And let me see if it'll work today. And if it will, I will just place this in. Maybe we won't. Oh, one second. Okay, boom, I fixed it. All right, hold on a second. It wouldn't do that yesterday. Okay, so now we're not on a time crunch. <laughs> so, uh, but you guys remember how you used to have that WP Forms email to you? Well, now you don't have to worry about that. It's everything, like she said, she's employed. Uh, she hasn't filled that out. Uh, she's uh, areas of ex experience sales. And why is this important? Because the way it's populated now, let's say, for instance, she said she was in sales. Someone else said they were in sales. Well, maybe I want to send a text or an email campaign out for just people that are in sales. Or maybe it was someone that said they were just in customer service. I don't want, so I'm going to approach that person. I'm going to have a different conversation with that person versus someone that's got administrative uh, stuff. And when they enroll, all their enrollment information will be right there. So that's the power. That's why this thing being integrated the way it is, everything you need about a client is right there in the CRM, right? You can set up triggers in any way you want. So what is a trigger? A trigger is basically something that sets off this chain reaction. So what do I want? When they do this, I want this to happen. You know, there's a software out there called if this, then that. Okay. So this is basically a built-in if this, then that a software. Uh, so you have that uh, opportunity. So for instance, when uh, we haven't uh, here again, like I said, I'm just getting functional with this stuff as well, but check this out. When Reagan or I, or any of my team members are on a call or we're working with a client, I, we literally can start uh, earmarking them. Where are they at in the process of this conversation we're having with them? 
Uh, so, for instance, they just made their appointment. We just had the initial call. They've seen the opportunity video. We're scheduling a closing call and here's the closing. So every, every stage of a conversation is right there. And Valerie says, I had a prospect who had a business within the U S and outside the U S are there any suggestions for bringing the uh, gap for their business outside the U S as there we're only in the U S uh, well, no, we're outside of the U S it's just, there's certain components that are, not available outside, like the, the for instance, the telephone. Uh, they they're going to have to operate within the U.S. on the telephone stuff. But any of the blog stuff, any of the email stuff, any of that stuff is functional. It's just any telephone components and any components that require data. It's sort of now they can be like for instance, we got Daniel Osterman, right? He's a member. He lives over in Japan right now, but he's an American. But he lives over in Japan with his wife. And so he is doing business in Japan, but he's doing it inside the U S right here, you know, so he, he is functioning in that capacity. But like, for instance, we don't have European data. We don't have Latino data. We don't have any of that data. We don't have Canadian data. So uh, the voice broadcaster wouldn't work in that. We don't have uh, the capacity with our account to be calling and receiving calls outside the U.S. because it's all U.S. based stuff. So anything to do with that data and that telephone is going to be narrow in that regard. So this app will work in other countries. Yes, all all of the um, web based components to it. For instance, uh, the chat bot. You can have that chat bot on your site. You can be in Canada. They can fill out that information, but when it comes time to call them or text them, you're going to have to use your local stuff. States no, in the in the states. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Great questions. So because you get a, you get a dedicated number with this app, so also let people know that are on here. They get a dedicated number specifically, whatever they want to use it for their their specific business mm-hmm. or this business. You know, that's too. right. That's right. It, you know, uh, and the way I teach guys for you guys that are considering uh, TW3 or thinking about it, I'm using our business, selling our business as the illustration. But I'm telling you, you don't have to sell our business. Uh, you, se- you sell whatever you want to sell, but the training is always going to be about selling this, but just plug and play. You just take my product, good or service out of the equation and you plug yours in because At the end of the day, uh, a lead is a lead. It's a lead for you or a lead for this or a lead for that, you know. So, uh, you know, just use it as a a template to go by. And, uh, yeah, so that's that's that. So, uh, the the, just real real quick, sorry to interrupt. No, you're not interrupting. Can you just show real quickly where that phone number is generated so we all can see that? I know you demoed that before, but can you just do a recap since we're talking about the phones? Yeah. Being generated? So I'm in my system here. So I'm just going to go to settings. So if you'll go, when you get a site set up, you'll go to your settings. If you'll go to your settings, you'll see phone numbers right here. And this will already be back there for you. You see, like I've got my, and so Valerie, you've already got one. Let's just pull you up. Yeah, right. Do so. Let me just show you yours as an illustration. So we're pulling Valerie up, and we're ignoring that because uh, I've got to set that up for you later. All these little nags. Good. I was going to ask you about that, so you answered that question. <laughs> yeah, I got to set that up for you. But see, your phone number is right here: three three six two seven six two five six three. That's the app number, right? And you can forward that number. Is that your number or the app number? That's the app number. Yeah, I was about to say that's. It shouldn't be your cell. I hope I didn't give yourself. Mm-hmm. No, you didn't. <laughs> yeah. So what that means is, if like for instance, I'm going to use your chat bot, if you don't mind, for just a second. I have your permission. Yes, sir. Okay. So I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to send Terry Wilson. And I'm going to send. And like right here, I've already got you're populated with all these uh, templates. So I'm just going to send a template real quick. Appointment coming. Well, not appointment coming up. Let's see. Let's say I ask you, like, look at that demo. So boom. 
So when that goes out, of course, you can type in what you want as well. Um, but right there, this went to me, right? And so let's see what happened. My phone just rang. And then look, boom, boom, shake the room. I just got a text from you. And so if I respond, sounds good. I'll buy three. <laughs> All right. I just responded to this uh, lovely marketer that I just want to do. And look at that. Boom. And so it's uh, it's 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 texting. And then you can go into, like, for instance, your workflows. And this is where the magic happens. Now, I've already put this workflow back there, but you can create your own workflow. Let's just let's just put a demo workflow back there real quick. Well, what kind of workflow we want? Uh, do we want an appointment booking workflow? Do we want a birthday template? If you, if you'll do due diligence and start asking your clients what their birthdays are, right. what you can do is have this thing go out automatically a text. Hey, this is your friend Valerie over at dimensional, uh, income streams. Is that right? Dimensional income streams or dimensional talent, talent, talent streams. I'm sorry. <laughs> dimensional talent streams. I just want to wish you a happy birthday. You know, just, you know, just one more way of warming up your, your clients, one, one more way of, of, you know, showing that you care and it's all done on auto, right? right? So you could set something up like that. If you want to do something by scratch, let's say you're just feeling really creative today and you don't want any of these templates. You want to do it yourself. Boom. I just set that and say, let's do something. Let's do something on scratch. So what's going to be, what's going to be the trigger of this workflow? Well, maybe it's a, uh, uh, bu- 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 maybe a call, maybe someone calls you. So, uh, call, a uh, call response, call, uh, text response to call text response to call. I've just got to name it something. Right. And it's going to come from my CRM, but check this out. If I had my Facebook linked up, I could set, uh, this to be anything that comes through my Facebook to do something very powerful. And then let's say here, what do I want it to do? So the trigger is going to be a call. So when I get a call, all right, let's just go over here and let me move this over. So, and then what's the filter going to be? It's going to be call direction, incoming call. That's the trigger. So when I get an incoming call, what do I want this thing to do? I want to send an SMS. All right. Do I have a template that I want to use? Maybe I've already got something like uh, this response right here that I've already had. I'm on the phone, but we'll get back as ASP. Are you calling about the job? Cause see, here's a dirty little secret. You know, I was talking about uh, uh, posting free ads. I'm posting ads everywhere for free and I'm giving it a number. And it says, I'm hiring and interviewing today about certain positions. If you're interested, give me a call. Here's the number. Because I know some people aren't uh, in a place where they can, uh, they're not, you know, I, I want it done that way. And so when they call, boom, this comes right back to them. And so now if they respond to this, I got them in my chat bot. I'm back and forth. Right. So I'm going to send this to them. Right. And then I'm going to add a tag. What's this tag going to be? Maybe it's going to be I'm adding. This is going to be a um, a, 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 a LinkedIn. Ad that I've posted a little post I put on there. LinkedIn ad. Oh, let's we'll see. Let me try it again. That's a. Add, added file. Nope, that's not what I want. I was thinking that was a tag. Excuse me. That's something else. Never mind. So uh, send test it. No, I don't need to do that. So boom, I've got that. Now, what do I want to do? Let's wait a little bit. So here's the thing I want to do. I want this to feel natural, right? I don't want it to feel like it's it's all automated because the beauty, the magic behind this thing is making it feel like there's a real person doing this. So I'm going to put wait five minutes time. Wait five. So this is going to be a five minute wait. That's the name of what I'm doing. I'm going to say five minute wait. So I know what this actually represents. And I'm going to say five minutes. Right. 
And then I'm going to just put it right there. Boom. So I first text went out when they called in. And now what is it going to do? It's going to send another SMS. And on this one, I'm just going, hey, I'm still tied up. Can we schedule an appointment? And then I'm going to go over here because I've already created my uh, um, calendar. So I'm just going to pretend this is a calendar here, you know, because you'd have to have that already created before I did this particular thing. Let's pretend that's a link. There's the link to it. And then all they do is when they click on that link, where did they go? They went to something maybe that looks like this. So they're going to see the next available times. They're going to select the date. They're going to put in their information. And what just happened once they did that? There's my opt-in. I captured every stinking thing uh, that I need to start a conversation with them, sending them emails and stuff like that. That's just one strategy uh, among others. But if you'll notice, what did I just do? I was able to capture people's name, number, email addresses, and all kinds of things off of a single phone call and never talk to them. And I was able to book an appointment. That's you start using these tools the way they're, they're capable of being used. And it's just, the sky is the limit. It's just based on your creativity and what you can do. And this is these funnels like this is some of the things we're doing uh, in putting in your back office as a member. So just so you guys know what's going on, Valerie, I'll get that cleaned up for you. Uh, ASAP. Uh, so let's get back over here. Cause I don't want to mess your account up too much. I'm playing, <laughs> playing with it. All right. Let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, huh. Well, RMP integrate. Yes. RMP will be integrated. Larry, that's a great question for you guys who are non-members. RMP stands for referral marketing uh, partners. Referral marketing partners are people who pay us to generate leads for them. Because uh, one of the advantages you have as a lead generation marketing agent with all of these assets and tools and the ability to do it is there is companies out there that says, hey, I'll pay you $50 if you can generate a lead for me this way, or I'll pay you $5. I'll pay you $500. That's all over the map. So these, because of the texting, the emailing, it will do everything. You can, you can design funnels to stack up however you want. You can, I, you know, and this is what we do at TW3 unashamedly. I'll advertise hourly jobs and 99.9% .9 of them are just needing hourly jobs. And we'll send them hourly opportunities and make, you know, anywhere from a dollar to five, ten dollars off of that referral over to this company that's hiring in that particular area. But there's going to be that 1%, that one guy out of 100 that sort of sees what we do and say, you know, I'm tired of working for, I hit him at the right time. Maybe the boss was just an SOB that day, right? And now he's, he's got, he's, he's motivated. I'm sick and tired. I go from job to job and it's always the same old song and dance. And he's just saying, well, if that, you know, good old boy from South Carolina can do it, why can't I? Or, or that young, beautiful lady from Greensboro. Uh, North Carolina, if she can do it, maybe I can do it. And so they want to have a conversation with you because integrated in that marketing is, hey, we got this and we got this. You, you Choose you this day. Who do you serve? <laughs> you serve yourself and your interest and your own destiny or someone else's, you know, but uh, we were constantly putting that and presenting that in front of people. So, but yeah, that's, that's definitely doable, Larry, with this. Michael Stevens says, sweet. Michael Stevens says, that thing got a hemi. Uh, see here. That's an <laughs> inside joke from those who know Hickory, North Carolina. Uh, the new back office looks a lot like, I don't know who that is. Uh, okay. Uh, Jeffrey says Katra or something. I don't know who those folks are, but okay. Uh, maybe they're using a lot of the WordPress stuff like we do. I don't know. Never mind about our MVP. We'll cover it. Oh, well, that's fine, Larry. And about it said, Terry, as you're building the training on this new app, where will you store them? So that's part of the design that we're working on, Valerie. What will happen eventually, this will be your uh, 
Uh, let me get over here real quick. Da, 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 da. This will be eventually your dashboard for everything. And you'll probably see your training probably up here or down here somewhere. And there will just be one training tab. There will be, they'll not no longer be rep or plus or elite. When you hit training, it'll have all the training that your module affords you. So there won't be these multiple uh, um, passwords and stuff like that. So there's a lot of stuff that we're doing in the background to this is all stuff we have to do to get this thing fully operational with this, what we're working yeah, and then, on. And then also, Terry, let them know that, uh, you know, when that lead comes in, this system, to, uh, you set up an automatic sequence of emails that go out and drip texts that go out with your list. So that's very important. So, you know, people don't, you know, know about that. So can you speak on that too? Absolutely. You know, in times past, what you would have to do is you have to go out to a third party like MailChimp or GetResponse or AWeber or something like that and set up what's called an auto response. It's basically a sequence of pre-programmed emails that you sent out that once this person opts in, then send them this email and then maybe wait a day or two or look and see how they responded to that. Did they click on anything? If they click, immediately upon click, send this. But if they didn't click, maybe give them a day or two and then send this. You know, you could do all that programming. Well, here again, no longer are you having to use these third parties. It's all done right here in the system. So once these uh, clients of yours, these potential uh, prospective clients and leads come in, you can set up to do email. But here's the other thing. Not only can you do email, but you can also do text. And that's key because 99% of texts are open, but the best marketers out there, you know, Amy Porterfield, who is the queen of email marketing. I mean, she is the authority when it comes to email marketing. And she'll tell you she gets up about 28% open rate. And that's coming from someone that uses Ray Edwards' copyright and knows all kinds of tricks and hacks to get people to open up that email. So emails, and it's because we've been conditioned by spam. I mean, quite frankly, uh, if you're like me, 95% of all your email, you're deleting. You're just constantly deleting. Because, uh, uh, And if you're not doing that, you're missing email because that means your filters are set so tight, you're probably not getting emails a lot of the time that you want. And the <laughs> so, way Gmail is set up these days, you better just plan on it going to spam. Most you know? all Gmails in these free accounts are, are, you know, uh, basically sending it off to the junk spam or promotional folder. And so that is a huge deterrent on open rates. So I say all that to say the fact that you have an integrated tech system tied to your email marketing system is very, very powerful because you, MailChimp doesn't talk to call loop. Now, if you're, if you're smart, you're a programmer, you know how to use Zapier, and you can really get in the weeds with some of this technical stuff, you might be able to program some stuff to, to work. This thing, there's no programming. It's all integrated. So you literally can tell your text system to respond based on what someone did in their email. You can't do that with other platforms unless you, you really dig deep into some programming. I'm not saying you can't do it. It's just, let me say it this way, it's not easy. Okay, for the, the, the general public to be able to, to program some of that. And this, because of the way it's set up, because your email system and your text system is all together, and uh, you can set up triggers down here. Remember this? This means I can set up triggers so that if a video, if something's done on video, I can then program a text to go out or an email. So the programmability here is just phenomenal. So literally what I've been doing, and this is what I told Lori and I was telling uh, Gary, I'm not automating a lot of stuff right now. And I'll tell you why, because I don't want to spend a lot of time programming a sequence of things that don't work. So what I'm doing right now is I'm trying different strategies. And as that, as that phase of the strategy works, maybe it's my engagement phase of my lead generation. As that works, I say, okay, I'm going to put that part on autopilot now. And then it goes into the next phase, which is my conversation, my, 
my, you know, my value uh, proposition. Okay. You know, Gary, I appreciate you responding to the ad. Here's what I want to do because you responded. I want to be able to give you this. I'm going to show you this. And at the end of this here, I want to, I don't want to waste your time at the end of this. I'm either going to show you how I'm going to give you these leads for free that I promised. I'm going to give you the training on showing you how I created those leads. But at the end of this, I'm just going to ask you the simple question. Would you like to continue to buy leads that may or may not convert? Or would you like to invest $20 a month potentially to have unlimited leads whenever you want? So I'm going to go ahead and give you my closing call to action now. So I'm not wasting your time. And then I go right in. Here's the training. Here's how I generated those leads. Here's how I did that. That's very powerful because then I can program it to when they click on that. And it's it, it, it my goal, my heart, what I'm trying to achieve is I want that that viewer, that person that's coming in my funnel, I want them to feel like they're having a live experience with me. That's the goal. I don't want it to be salesy. I don't want it to be pitchy. I'm doing, I'm doing what I call the Colombo double take on a lot of my stuff. I'll send a text. I'll wait five minutes. And then I do the Colombo. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to tell you. Now, I didn't forget to tell them nothing. I knew I was going to tell them the whole time. But that's not conversational, right? So as you get creative in, in, and I'm trying to say, okay, when should I say this? How should I say this? Should I wait? What's working? As you start your sales process, and we give you templates to go by, and we got hours and hours and hours of training. But as you start seeing what's working, then it, with this system, with a click of a button, like I was just showing, um, you saw what I was showing uh, Valerie, start automating it. And then once you've got a system that's working, it's automated, what's next? You scale that puppy up. Now I'm not talking. Now I'm not just trying to drive a couple hundred leads a day into my funnel. Now I'm throwing gas on it, and I'm, I'm putting two and 3,000 leads into my funnel a day because I've got a, a process, a system that works. That is the power of online marketing. That's the power of these tools. That's, that's why I love this business model because it's so scalable. Terry, I have a prospect who has a, I got that one. Uh, yep. Okay. On the online listing, it needs to read. Okay. So uh, send in a uh, Leticia, just send in a ticket, but I will show, I, I, I think you can do this. So I'm going to tell you how to do it, but if you can't do this, send in a ticket because some of the permission levels, I don't know what's available and what's not. So uh, it's under settings. I bet you it's not because it's a team. Team management, she's wanting to know how to change. If you're going to see you as the user of your um, particular company, you'll click edit there. And then when you click edit there, you should be able to go to user info and change that. If you can't, you might not be able to do that. If you can't, send in a ticket and uh, Reagan, Gabby, River, or somebody with the last name Wilson can fix that for you. All right. And let's see here. All right. Let's see here. I received the app credentials yesterday and was doing looking around the app. There are no assets of at all. What you have shown to be included, my contacts, forms, templates, forms. Okay. So, uh, yes. So there are some assets that we loaded in the conference. Uh, uh, folks, that, like I said, uh, this is beta. And so there's a lot of things that uh, is not necessarily populated. We haven't gone live with this. We're just showing what's available. So you might be missing some things. Uh there are no assets uh, at all. What you have shown to be included in my contact forms, templates, phone right here. Okay. Also, don't. Yeah, that's Felix. Uh, that's from Felix's account. Yeah. There. So you, you can maybe get uh, yeah. Reagan or River to check in on that because he should have a majority of what he's saying, you know, there in there. You know, well, the API look, key, the, he's got, uh, yeah, he's going to have an API phone. key. If you go, I mean, he, could, he has a coaching call with me tomorrow and actually I can go through work. that. Now he probably doesn't have like funnels set up for him because yeah. that was something that we did for the, um, 
the uh, uh, folks uh, who attended the conference. Right. Uh, so, uh, but here again, we're going to be developing training on how to do that. Um, you know, on how to build the funnels out here and connect it uh, to your, your existing system. But uh, yeah, you're going to be missing a lot of stuff because it's, it's beta. I mean, we're, we're not saying this is live yet. Uh, we're just giving you early access to it. We're starting with the elite members uh, to get everyone in. Right. Uh, but we will be creating, um, you know, uh, training on how to, to set your funnels up and stuff. And that's what part of tonight is about is how to do that. So, you know, real quickly to, to set a funnel up, you just go to marketing right here. Uh, excuse me, not marketing, but you go down to funnels and websites. You go right here. You go to funnels and you just add a funnel. You start creating your funnel. So, it, and it's once you get used to this, it's pretty intuitive, but it does take some getting used to. I'm not saying that or anything like that, but you know, you just add a funnel. It's just a click right there. And then you name it. Let's say this is my financial funnel. I've got a financial product that I'm selling. Okay. So I'll, I'll create my financial. And so I need to add a step. So let's just put uh, the uh, welcome page, right? So right here, first thing is I'm going to welcome people. So I'm going to click on uh, edit the page and I just start building. This is a lot like Elementor. It's drop and drag. Do I want this to be full screen? Do I want it to be medium? Do I want it to be small? So I pick what size. Then how many rows do I want? One, two, three, four. Let's just put one row. And then what do I want to put in that? A headline, a subheadline. Well, so it's 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 just welcome to financial security. Maybe I'm just doing something like that. Fine. And also, he has a coaching call set with me tomorrow, so I can look at yeah, uh, just uh, yeah, look in his account form or on the on a live meeting with him too. So. Yeah. So, but, uh, there are, I mean, you, we don't have the TW three funnel loaded in everybody's yet. Uh, because to be honest with you, we've already found some problems. I was, I misspelled calendar <laughs> on the funnel. So, uh, you know, before I repeat a mistake out to hundreds and thousands of people, I kept it contained to the 20 some odd people that were at the, uh, uh, at the conference. So, but we are going to be building, you know, uh, training out so you can do that, but it's all drop and drag, you know, then you hit your plus sign. What else do you want? I want a form right here. What, well, which form? And once you have your forms created, you got to create your forms where you can do that. Maybe it's just a contact form. Boom. And so I save that. And then maybe, you know, that's going to be the welcome page. And then I just hit save, come back over here. And then maybe it's uh maybe I want a confirmation page after that. Once they fill that out, it goes to um, the confirmation page. So I add a new, so this is confirmation. So that's just, that's how you build. That's how simple it is. Welcome page, confirmation page. And then I click on this edit page. And so maybe here it needs just to be a big old, thing that says uh you know an image here that says and i go create an image that says something like uh thank you we'll be in touch or whatever or i can just put uh you know a picture of me or whatever you know i could just load up whatever picture i want there for my confirmation all right so but yeah that's that's pretty much it and i'm just gonna leave that all right i got other stuff coming in uh, let's see here uh, so where did all of my emails go that I had in, uh, yeah, that's a great question. The CRM went away and everybody's freaking out like, Oh no, I lost everything. No, you didn't. <laughs> it's just the, 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 the CRM has gone. So in your back office, in your back office, I want to show you something. Your CRM never had a form or anything. It shouldn't have been set up. It's WP forms is where everybody opted in. And then that populated your, uh, it populated your CRM. So if you go here to dashboard and Leticia, what is your account? Yeah, it's a lot quicker than the last, the way to build funnels. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
All right. And uh, hold one second, guys. I'm my phone is like lighting up. I've got uh, elite members that get didn't get the message that uh, we're doing this in lieu of the mastermind. So let me find the invite button here real quick and invite some people in that uh, are uh, wanting to come. Hold one second, guys. Apologize. Uh, apologize. Where is it at? Oh, invite link. Invite. Copy link. Now watch this. You guys, I'll just show you in real time. Okay. I'm going to go back over to my app. I'm right here. I'm going to go to chat because this is where they're coming through. Like Larry, right here. I'm going to send him that. And she's already. And I guess Russell, uh, Reagan's got the rest. Yep. All right. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Boom, boom. Reagan's on the rest. Reagan has got it. Okay. So, uh, Leticia, what is your account? Uh, thank you. She's already answered that. So, let's go over. And, and so, this will be valuable for um, anyone else that's wanting to load their uh, or have us load their leads. And what all we have to do, if you want us to do that, Leticia, all you have to do is send in a ticket and say, can you put my leads from my system over into the new app? Reagan will do that. We do have it locked down. You cannot upload your own uh, files. And I'll tell you why. Because I'll say it a hundred times. Do not text and email people off of a data list or anything with the system. And you know what will happen? someone will text or email someone off of a data list. <laughs> so we've locked that feature out so people can't hurt themselves nor us. So if you want uh, your data list uh, uploaded over from your old systems, not that we don't trust you, Leticia, or anyone else, but it, we've learned from experience. Uh, but what you do is you go, uh, and you can always, uh, uh, no, no, you know, templates. Oh, your templates are, uh, your templates. I don't think your CRM had any templates, did it? You you had you your funnel was built of pages that was built in either Elementor and the regular pages. Your CRM shouldn't have affected that. If it did, I need to see. Uh, you know, if you could send a link or something two tickets to see what's going on because that shouldn't have been affected. But just to, to, to finish this thought, because we are getting a lot of questions on this, go to WP forms, all forms right here. Uh, and then, and then what happened right here's all of your lead list right here. So let's say we got this list right here. All we got to do is click on that number. Uh, and then all you have to do, is go and hit export all CSV if you want it just as a backup or whatever you want. But if you want any of these lists that you have over here loaded into your new system, all you have to do is let us know and we'll we'll get that over for you. Okay. Great questions. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. Let's see here. I had email responders. You're talking about your autoresponder? that you had connected maybe with uh get response or Aweber or something. Is that what you're talking about? Is she on here where I can talk or is she the one? She is. Yeah, she's on. Yeah. I'm, I'm here. Just, okay. Let's talk. So okay. yeah, your, your auto response would have been connected to your WP forms. That's the way it works. So, so, so I had Bobby um, build my CRM, um, I guess, just as we were um, uh, changing over. Version. Yes. But I had uh, I had a bunch of um, emails. Are you talking about your emails? You're talking about the emails responses. that you yet you had as a sequence to go. I got you. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm slow. Yeah. It's OK. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we've lost those. I lost all those. Yep. They're gone. They're gone. I but I tell you what, did, did you said Bobby made them? Well, he uploaded the, I had them up. Yes, we uploaded them in my CRM and now they're gone. Okay. 
if he uploaded them, maybe he's got a backup of them. If he's got a backup of them. We can get that and put it over into the new CRM. Okay. I yeah, do we'll, have a backup of them all. You do? Thank yeah, you. Yeah, both uh, emails and the text. Okay. Look at you. See, Bobby, my hero. <laughs> Bobby, Bobby's, on, Bobby's on the spot. I mean, he, he's got it going on. So thank Dang. God. So, uh, Bobby, we can work with you. And so you're not having to double work. If you, if you want us to do it, just, you know, give us whatever we need and we'll, we'll set up her new, uh, app with all of the templates of the different emails and stuff. Just get that over to Reagan. And, uh, and I bet you, I bet you we can get it done. And not that we like to, to, uh, to take, (laughs) <laughs> I'm here with bells on. Thank you. Yeah. All right. She's happy. She said, I didn't lose it. And for those <laughs> keeping score, it's the top of the fifth. The uh, base is loaded and one to one. There you uh, go. The, <laughs> Got to get a win. Got to get a win. Come on, Bravos. Okay. All right. Thank All you. right. Any other questions? Good stuff tonight, guys. Sorry, blog curator is no longer um, going to be happening. Is that correct? That is correct. However, however, if you get your own independent site, we can show you how to get that set up and it will actually work a lot better than uh, uh, on a network site. So if you like the blog cre- uh, curator, I can give you uh, access to the plugin uh, on your independent site. But it was just so much conflict in the network environment. We had to pull it. Thank you. Yes. Yes. All right. And did everyone get value out of tonight? I want to make sure there, and, and there's no questions left unanswered. Uh, is this going to be the new time for meeting? Yes. Is that okay with you, Logan? Is, is this a better time for you or is it a worse time or what's? No, it's a great time. <laughs> okay. All right. I, uh, I don't want to make it inconvenient for anybody. No, no, but I, I'm like a 90 year old. You know, I, uh, I'm 25 years old, but I, you know, go to bed early, wake up early. This is. Well, I tell you what's happened to me. I've gotten on this health kick and I'm getting up early and working out. And because of that, my body about, about right now, I'm starting to feel it. I was like, (laughs) I'm let's say back when I was a musician in my musician body, I was used to being in those recording studios at three, four in the morning. And so I've just been accustomed to that for my whole life, but I've just sort of had a midlife change, not a crisis, a change. <laughs> so uh, things have, have changed over here. So love new times. Good, good. Yeah, well, this new time is good. Hey, Thomas, congratulations. Uh, Reagan sent me a text today. Good job, brother. I know you've been working hard, so it's good to, uh, see a uh, hard work pay off. And I know that it's been a couple that uh, went a little sideways with you. So I know that can be frustrating. So congratulations. Yeah. Thomas is, is a uh, riding business and using the TW3 easy pay for you guys that are non-members. That's one of the beautiful things about uh, TW3 and what we've done is we've made it so affordable. Uh, you can get uh, our top package for, you know, anywhere from 20 to $120, you know, based on which uh, financing option you go with and all of that. So you, you see all of these, these individual components. Boy, shut up. Pardon? <laughs> uh, someone said, shut up. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> I will stop talking if you want me to. I'd rather watch ball game, but <laughs> you can get all of these components here. Uh, with all of these uh, various things and the membership and everything for like 89 bucks a month, you know, right there. So uh, it's a pretty cool thing. And he's taking advantage of that. Bass players never have to get to the studio that early. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. All right. All right. Well, yeah, uh, all new uh, trainings, podcast, everything will be starting at eight rather than nine. And uh, I am pre-recording or recording podcasting, sending them out, but we probably won't be doing live stream until 
I'm just gonna, I'm going to shoot for October, but I'm probably it's going to be November for you'll see another live stream because I'm doing these webinars. I'm doing training. I've got a lot going on. And so I just don't want to overcommit myself, uh, but I will be sending out podcasts that are sort of traditional audio podcasts only. I uh, will be doing midweek uh, webinars like this to where we can do Q and A's and stuff like that. And then November, when we're fully operational, we'll go back to standard uh, uh, um, scheduling where we have a, a live stream at eight and then a Wednesday night mastermind at eight and all of that. So just be aware of that. Uh, make sure if you haven't put Terry Wilson, Terry at Terry Wilson, three.com in your, um, your contact list for your email provider or whatever, uh, put that in there so that, uh, cause I've heard some people say my new email is going to their spam or spam or junk a folder. So make sure you get that in there. We try to send text reminders out as well, but just in case, uh, make sure that's uh, there as well. All right, guys, any hey, other questions? Terry, real quick, can you show me if, if you have a contact and you want to delete it or bulk delete contacts, how do you do that? All right. So let's see. I here. couldn't find the delete button. Now I want to get rid of this person. Control, alt, delete. Control, alt, delete. Get behind me, you foul demon. <laughs> so let's see. Who can I delete? Um, okay, here's someone. So uh, you can click on that. And you can do that right there. Okay, I don't have a trash can. My, I don't have a trash can. Okay. Uh, that it, is it was. I setting. did have a trash can, but now I don't have a trash can. Look at permission I mean, settings. Like, duh. Yes. Maybe you deleted your trash can. Yeah. Did you throw the trash can away? No. Or you can have my trash <laughs> can. Are you sure? Okay. Are you saying well, you see, didn't, in I, fact, it, or to your best of your knowledge, you did? Because those are two different answers. I absolutely answers. did not. Okay. Now the you're trash. on the hook. Now you're on the hook. All right. I got you now. You're going to jail. Let's see. <laughs> permission settings well, for contacts that is a permission setting issue that we got to tell michael about well it was there before and now it's I know. Gone. yeah you there's several it. things that when you first got in was there is not like there anymore uh because we've had uh to do all kinds of changes to make sure it, it fits what we're trying to do not that we're trying to like for instance you when you you were one of the first to get it you and in four others right well, when you first got this app, you could also upload your own list. And well, that's what I want to delete because it didn't upload, it didn't map correctly. So I just yeah. want to get rid of it. Yeah, I get it. I get it. But we'll, we'll, uh, that's a permission setting. I just got so to figure spent out how 30 to change minutes, it. I spent 30 minutes today trying to find the trash. Well, listen, if you didn't do it then, you'd have been cleaning the house. So it's either that or clean the house. So I saved right. you from a ton of just work. That's true. Okay. Thank so you. You're I welcome. You're it. welcome. <laughs> Anything else I can keep you busy on the computer with, just let me know to keep you out of housework. <laughs> I got plenty to do. got plenty to do. One one other question I kind of have, Terry, and I, yeah. this might help other people. As Please. we're talking with prospects now, and they're you know, they're not gonna have really this full um, version. I mean, they're going to get the beta version, but are they going to go through? I, I mean, obviously you're going to demo. Yeah. But are they going to go through building the, the funnel, like the step two and step four stuff? Yeah. So, uh, I, step one is no longer relevant because that's talking about setting up your phone. You're not going to have right. set up a phone anymore because that you're assigned a phone. Step two, I would still say that's working knowledge you need to know because that's talking about web pages and setting up a blog. Right. So it's still relevant, even in the context of where we're going, because we're going to have that where they launch their own site, right? Uh, so it's still relevant. Uh, step four with the funnel. Um, we're, in a, we're in a transition period. We're definitely in a transition period. Um, and that's what makes it tough. Let me think about that. I mean, it, cause, and I get that, but it's like, okay, 
pull your hair out with step four and and then in a little bit forget about that and do it this yeah way. that's what i'm saying why why create frustration when there doesn't have to be one um well, well the final year t- we're teaching there's pros and cons yeah i know i know I, I feel where you're coming from you know terry but hey you're they're also learning how that lead is created yeah. okay they see it and it's captured and that's, that's, that's very powerful education, you know, to know, you know, within this system here with, uh, with how we do it now. And then also with this, but there's, you know, Hey, they can also do it where you, we can set up where they can plug and play and it's ready to go too. Yeah. yeah I kind of agree with Gary on that, with the education piece, because where one of our pillars is the lead generation. And if we really right. get into that conversation where we're talking about leads, we need to know how they're generated. Um, you know, what information is being captured, you know, how, how, what's the time frame on that, how we're getting those leads. So it is helpful to have that background knowledge. And you can have more in-depth conversations with the client after they go through that two or three days, just learning that in the very beginning, because we teach that right out the gate, right up front. So you're able to build upon that business relationship because we're yeah. teaching them how to do it themselves. Right. No, you know, I agree. With- I mean, truth of the matter is we could have had the funnels set up as a template and just every time someone joined it ought to populate. But the problem is in doing that, they don't it inevitably is always this. Well, now I want to do this over here. I want to generate leads because I want to do this business because I'm a plus member and I'm also an in insurance. I'm also in real estate and I need to, well, then we say, well, you got to build your funnel this way. Well, how do you do that? And they don't know how to do it. So that's why we've always sort of left that educational component in there, because I don't think we're doing anyone any favors by doing it for them. And the fact that if they want to go in a different direction or do something different, how do you do that? Well, without that working knowledge, you don't know what you're doing. And you definitely right. can't, because uh, think about this, a, a major drawing card for many years has been a referral marketing. Well, what's the number one question they ask when you sign up for these RMPs? Let me see your blog. Let me see this. Let me see that. What are they getting at? Do you know what you're doing? Do do you know how to set up a funnel to qualify the lead so that we can go to, you know, booking.com or we can go to, you know, Southwestern airline, or we can go to whatever this company is over here and assure them that the marketers where we've hired is sending you quality leads. And without that working knowledge, they can't assure their clients. And that's why it's a knockout question uh, in in the step 10. And then also, like we were talking the other night, Terry, you know, we're teaching them how that lead is created. I mean, they are learning that the average, I mean, not the the average person and a lot of people in business don't know that. That's true. And we're teaching them that and educating and giving them the, this powerful education and technology to use themselves. We're giving them the blueprint with us first. They're going to be able to take that blueprint, apply that very similar blueprint to their business that they want leads for yeah. coming in. They're going to be able to, so they're not having to pay a marketer thousands of dollars every week to do it for them. They're doing it themselves and they're going to get a handle on a lot of this technology and a lot of these tools to do an in-house within themselves. Hey, this is not a four-year college degree, $100,000 education here. This is two or three days of training, okay, to do this, to learn what we're talking about right now, and then to implement that in and start to learn that on how to apply that with your business, real estate, travel, insurance, business finance, or or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. I, I you know, at the end of the day, we're going to leave WP forms in there. We're leaving Elementor because they're viable there are things that they they do that you can't do except with those tools. So the information there, Lori, to answer your question, as I'm thinking through this and hearing other, other people, there's value in step four, but here's how you mitigate any frustration. Just learn this because you're going to be able to use this later on. But know this, once you get the app, what you're, what you're seeing how things are done, you won't have as many button pushes and it won't be the, the technical skills you're learning will make what's technical over here even less. So it's like, we're going to ask you to run a marathon, but before you run, put these weights on your feet <laughs> and then we're going to take the weights off. So, you know, you just have to, to let them know there is value in it. There's a lot of value in it. 
it just it might need to be something that uh, uh, you, you sort of position with them. And it's also a skill that you can market and scale. That's that's an arsenal that you will have. You learn that and you can really market that should that be something you want well, to do. Absolutely. Bobby, how many people have you been able to help? Because you know WP forms and WordPress. I mean, that's that's uh and Lori and Gary the same way. And Valerie, you once you know these things, you're in a position to help more people. That's right. Yeah. So I've, ahead, I've lost count about how many people I've tried to help. Right. Yeah. 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 So, but, I, but it's I, a I skill you gotta, gotta have. have. You gotta have it. You I'll, gotta have it. The app is making it easier, but you definitely gotta have it. I mean, there's no way around it because you get up to step 10 and you're, you're applying for these different uh, high paying referral marketing partners. If you can't answer some of those questions, they're going to ask you, you're not going to get it. And that's, that's why we call what we're doing certification, being certified as a TW3 trainer, because you're learning how to do this. You're being certified so that you're a marketer to be able to go out to these various companies and, and, and generate leads for them and get paid directly. So anyhow, oh, yeah. all right, great stuff. I hope I answered the question. Uh, Thank you. Makes sense. Got you. Uh, I'm dying over here, Leticia. Well, you says. know, everybody wants the easy way, Terry. You know, uh, they, they're yeah. like, well, let me don't let me just do the minimal amount to get by. We just tell you to do a little bit. Just listen to us a little bit, and we're going to show you the right pathway. So. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I can attest. I know Gary has pushed me, Val, get that funnel done. And once I did it, I, you know, I just felt like I was fearless by the time I was done. <laughs> well, I mean, once you, you can go in any direction, once you learn how to do that, you're not behold. Because here's the thing, uh, and, and this is another argument I've made for years, uh, just for you guys that are on here. One of the things that keeps TW3 so viable for you is a lot of times people will go out and they buy these marketing systems or they buy this widget, or they buy this tool. Well, all systems and all tools eventually have a shelf life. They're not effective anymore. Maybe the technology has changed. It's not even able to be used anymore. Or maybe the, the, the actual strategy, every, thousands of people out here are doing this strategy and it doesn't work anymore. Well, we've always said at TW3, if we just sell you a word for word, step by step plan, using this tool, then it only has a shelf life for so long. But if we teach you, here's what we're doing right now. Here's the tools we're using right now. Here's why we're using them. You do it yourself. Once you develop those skills as strategies changes and software pieces changes, you can change with them because you now develop the skills to do that. But if I've just got you, if all you have is this right here, well, as long as this works, it's fine. But as technology changes or the market changes or whatever, then this means nothing anymore. And that's, you know, that's been my argument against a lot of these business tools out on the market. Yeah, you hit a spot on right on, right on TW. Someone said something. Go ahead. Yeah, Terry. Uh, yes. This is Cedric. Hey, how Cedric, how are you? Good. I was informed that this meeting would take place at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. And then I looked at it, it was Eastern Standard Time. That's right. Can I get a copy or a this recording? Yes, you can, Cedric. Uh, I uh, recorded tonight, and it will be posted on YouTube. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, go to uh, YouTube, look up TerryWilson3.com, or just go to YouTube.com slash TerryWilson3 and subscribe yeah. there, and you'll get alerted as soon as it gets posted. Yeah, we'll send it to you, Cedric. I have your information. So, okay. we'll, uh, yeah, we'll get all of it uh, recording over, sent over to you, okay? Thank you. Right. Thank you for being on, Cedric. You're welcome. Any other questions? All right. Well, there's a good looking bunch of people on here tonight. Hey, no technical difficulties. It's a success. Right? It's a success. A blind hog will find an acre in every once in a while, right? <laughs> hey, I'm still getting a bunch of good feedback about the conference last week. Yeah. You know, tons of people that were like, oh, I wish I was there. 
you know, they couldn't make it for one reason or another. Uh, but yeah, they're like, oh, I'm definitely making the next one. So I was like, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely be there. Welcome you open arms for sure. So how did everybody feel about the time as far as September? Is that, is that a good time for everyone? I'm thinking next year doing it around the same time. Oh, September. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah instead of May, good. we've always done it in May, but sometimes that interferes with opening day, just to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> and so I want to bump it back now to the end the of the truth. Now, now the truth, the truth comes, comes out. out. <laughs> That's right. But September seems uh, in the air is a little crisper then too. So, well, you said we may go on a cruise. We might be the TW3 conference cruise. Well, that's what uh, we're I mean, talking about. We're thinking about maybe doing a cruise next time. We have to ban everybody from going to the casino where, you know, so that way that you, you know, they're, they're going to be either excited or they'll be like down in the dumps, right? <laughs> <laughs> that is the truth. That is the truth for real. All right, guys. Well, thanks all of you for coming out tonight. I hope it was a valuable meeting. I hope you learned a lot. Uh, I'll be doing another one like this uh, next week and be sending out an invitation uh, as well. And then I will be going away for a couple of weeks. We're going down to the Florida Keys. Uh, we canceled Jamaica because of travel restrictions and problems with the pandemic. So we're going to be in the Keys. And, and then we come back and I'm going to finalize on all this stuff in October. I'm going to work real hard to get everything done. And then we'll launch back with live streams on Monday nights to the public and also masterminds for uh, the elite members on Wednesday nights, both of which will be at 8 p.m. But in the interim, I'm going to do live uh, webinars like this. Uh, except for the two weeks I'm gone on vacation, but coming back in October, I'll be doing that as well. All right. Terry, do you want us to hold off on sending you any videos for the podcast while we're going through this transition? Yes. What I would tell you is continue to create content, but put it in a storage bin. Okay. That way, when we hit the ground running, you, you will have an inventory of a month or two already there and ready. And that way, and I'm thinking, think about this. That way, when we go into the holiday season and you're busy with holiday, you've already got content created. So don't take this time off, Valerie. <laughs> oh, no, I won't. I won't. I mean, I've, I'm already booked up with guests already for the rest of the month and going into October. So I have, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Well, I'm even talking about for the podcast on Monday nights as well, your trainings and stuff. Oh, definitely. Uh, yeah, I have a couple, two, three. Uh, ready for us um, so that when we hit the ground uh, starting back up in October, uh, you won't be uh, having to create content during the holiday seasons. Will do. Will do. All right. Blessings to you and through you, everyone. Bye, talk, Terry. Thank you. Talk to you later. Bye, guys. Have you a nice guys. Time. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, little John. Good night, John boy. <laughs> uh,